a pregnancy test blood draw this morning and then I went into work. Got a call from my fertility clinic and I saw the call come through and I was like, do I really want to pick this up? Luckily I was on my lunch break and I thought about not picking it up because I told myself I wouldn't want to know the result till after work just so that like maybe Josh and I can find out together and maybe my mind won't be so like distractible. But uh I decided to pick it up. It was about 12:30, and I picked it up and I ran to the bathroom because I didn't want anybody overhearing me. And from the sound of my nurse's voice, I knew it was a positive result because uh, she sounded really happy. She said, "Brittany, you are really pregnant." <laughs> I was like, "What? I'm, what? It worked?" She's like, "Yep." And I was like, "No." <laughs> She's like, "Yeah, your um, HCG." level is 244 apparently the sign of you're pregnant is 25 and mine's 244 so her words were you you were very pregnant i was like i was stunned i was like i mean this whole time i've been preparing my mind and my heart for a negative test um i i honestly i don't believe it i looked on my portal because i was like well maybe she got Maybe she got me mixed up with somebody else. Sure enough, the lab result on my patient portal is 244, the HCG level. So at this point, I'm just like, I'm in shock and I'm just don't know what to think. Um, it's about 540 right now and uh, Josh has been dying to know. He's been texting me all, all afternoon. I told him I will tell you in person so he doesn't know yet. Um, I, I just, ugh, this might actually have worked. Oh no. Okay. So I need to figure out a way to tell him I want to film it because I, I, he probably has a sneaking suspicion I'm positive because I haven't said anything to him yet. I'm going to write it on something. Okay, I'm just going to write that I'm pregnant on this mask because I don't have a piece of paper. I'll turn on my, I'll just use my phone again. I'm, you're on my phone right now. Hand him the mask that says I'm pregnant and just keep documenting this journey. Um, oh my God. <laughs> I'm tempted to buy a few home pregnancy tests uh, just to like validate that this is happening. My clinic told me to make an appointment on Thursday. Today is Monday. So in a few days from now to another HCG draw um, to make sure my levels are rising, make sure that the pregnancy is taking successfully. So I'm definitely not out of the woods yet, but I'm pregnant currently and hopefully baby keeps sticking. Okay, I'm gonna go tell Josh. <laughs> okay. You want hugs? Are you excited? 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 Are hear Josh talking in the background he's on a work call but I am still having a hard time believing that I'm actually pregnant and I had a second HCG draw so a second pregnancy test lab draw and confirmed still pregnant and that was last week and now it's a week later and I just it's like you know what let me just take a pregnancy test because I'm just having a really hard time like wrapping my mind around that this actually is happening. And I found a pregnancy test left over from, believe it or not, when I was on Accutane about a year and a half ago, you have to do pregnancy tests every month when you're on Accutane. And so I found an extra pregnancy test, like a really cheap one from Rite Aid. Oh my God. <laughs> Literally the moment I peed on it, it was positive. I really didn't have to wait. <sighs> Maybe I can be a little bit more accepting, happier. That's crazy. <laughs> I'm very happy. <laughs> okay, so we're driving to our eight week ultrasound. I'm so nervous. Are you nervous? I'm not nervous. You was nervous though. He thinks we're going to the park. He's in first. Yeah, he's like, he's like, oh, Tug Park. It's kind of the same route, actually. I hope baby's still in there. I hope it's, everything's fine. 
been looking forward to this ultrasound for weeks now because I'm having a hard time still believing that this is happening. So like I need to see the proof. So this will actually solidify a lot in my mind, good or bad. So time to, for my mentality to move on. So this ultrasound will be a good thing. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta get in the right lane and you're gonna make it right, right? Huh. Eight week ultrasound. <laughs> Nothing up there yet. Uh, we nicknamed our baby beans, our little bean. Ultrasound went, ultrasound went great. I'm measuring, what, seven weeks, five days. So on Sunday, I'll be eight weeks, so every Sunday. I turn a week older. So um, yeah, baby's measuring how it's supposed to. <sighs> I'm so relieved. I'm much happier now, much happier. Josh almost fainted when we saw the heart flicker. I didn't faint. You said you almost did. I said I got lightheaded. <laughs> lightheaded. We couldn't hear the heartbeat because baby's a little too young, a little too small still, but the heart's like flickering. They said the brain's developing right now and all the vital organs are basically still developing. Heart rate they measured at Bubba. <laughs> We got him a pap spoon. <laughs> squeaky. Yeah, we just got that this afternoon. His brand new sweet toy. Until he kills it. Yeah. Heart rate's measuring at 171, which is how it's supposed to. And so my next ultrasound is week 10. So in two weeks. So I have my homework. We have our homework cut out for us. We need to find an OBGYN. ASAP. Oh, that's my, oh, this is my medical release form because apparently they're releasing me from the facility clinic. Unless I don't find an OB in time for my eight week old sound, then they can do it. And here's a list of- In your 10 week? 10 week, yeah. And uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll see what, what OB I go with. So I just finished a workout. <laughs> and I'm so dead. I am eight weeks and four days today, but oh my gosh, the symptoms are kind of all setting in this week. I've been nauseated on and off, and I feel like I have to always be eating. Like if I, the moment I get hungry, I get nauseous. And so I'm like constantly snacking. So I can already feel kind of the weight gain, which is fine. I know that's ex expected, but now my workouts, oh my gosh, this same workout I did like six weeks ago, right before my transfer and it was so easy. And this same workout today, I'm like dying. My stamina is not there. Like I can feel my heartbeat like racing more than it should for these exercises. Just an upper body workout. Wasn't intense, wasn't high intensity. So, <sighs> I'm definitely fatiguing faster and my stamina is not what it normally is. So it's a little frustrating, but I hope it's all worth it. I'm just like wanting to come on here and just sort of like vent because I really take pride in my workouts and oh, well, now I'm not taking any pride in them. <laughs> my goal probably just needs to be to like maintain, you know, maintain my health and stamina and just like feel good and feel healthy. So that's what I'm gonna do. Or at least that's what I'm gonna focus on, but this, this is crazy, you guys. I'm, I don't know. I'm already feeling pregnant and my little bean is literally the size of a kidney bean. <laughs> so. Probably in for the long haul at this point. I truly can't believe I made all 13 weeks of progesterone and oil. I have my last injection right here. All 13 weeks, oh my gosh, I made it. Did not think I would make it. I've been warming up my injection under my armpit as I always do, but I thought I would turn on my phone and document this moment because I didn't think I would do it. Did not think I would make it. These injections have been so torturous, horrendously painful, and I did it. Also, this is my last endometrian vaginal suppository progesterone. I've been having to do these twice a day for the last 13 weeks. So I actually just have just enough for this last injection <sighs> and I made it. And I just turned 12 weeks today. So I just wanted to 
would turn on my camera and talk on here. I guess just to document how I'm feeling. Yeah, I'm very nasally because I have COVID. I'm in today four of having COVID. And today just happens to be my 14 weeks into pregnancy. So I'm 14 weeks today. Um, and I'm turning on my phone right now because I have been feeling pretty down today. And I think it's because of this whole COVID thing. I've been really paranoid about all the meds I've been having to take and baby. Not really concerned about baby and COVID, but all these meds. So I've been having to pop Tylenol like every few hours, which I know Tylenol is safe for pregnancy. And then I've had to take Robitussin for coughing and then some Afrin for decongestant. But then I don't know Josh just texted me and said Sudafed's safe for pregnancy. So I think I'm just paranoid that I'm taking too much meds, but like I really need them because this COVID business sucks. And really it's the Tylenol and these meds that are like kind of getting me through this. But also because I'm 14 weeks today, it's kind of like a bigger milestone and I thought I would be like showing by now and I would be at least like when I laid on the ground earlier today with my head up and feeling my stomach I thought that maybe I would feel a bump there and I, I just don't feel anything I don't feel a bump I don't feel the baby move I don't feel anything and I don't even know how I feel because all these COVID symptoms are like masking like nausea or like I'm so tired but I think it's COVID so honestly I don't I don't I don't know, I don't feel anything. <laughs> so I got really discouraged earlier and um, my arm's hurting. And my mom ended up calling me because I texted my family just to pray for me because uh, mentally I'm struggling, believing this pregnancy still. And now I'm worried about COVID and taking all these meds. So I was crying earlier and just being like really uh, down. It's crazy how this journey of being pregnant has messed with me mentally. I knew that I wouldn't believe it for a long time, but I didn't know how mentally challenging this was gonna be. All of the doubts that are running through my mind, like hopefully baby's still there, hopefully he or she is okay. I have my next ultrasound on September 22nd, which is actually less than a week. So this is Sunday today. So this coming Thursday, I have my next ultrasound. I'll be almost 15 weeks. So I really need that next ultrasound to confirm that baby's still there, he or she's good, baby He's fine. I was planning on announcing uh, officially after that. Um, we'll see how I feel. This is what infertility does to you. It just makes you doubt all the time. And it like, I'm trying to stay positive, trying to not think about the what ifs, but some days are really hard, especially right now when I'm at home by myself, feeling miserable and having to take all these meds. I have literally no physical sign of being pregnant other than I feel miserable, but like, I don't know, this is COVID miserable, not pregnancy miserable at this point. So anyways, yeah, I'm gonna talk to you guys after this next ultrasound on Thursday. Hopefully I sound better. And Hopefully I feel better and hopefully baby is fine and doing well. We just finished our announcement photos. It's a little difficult because we didn't have anybody taking our pictures for us. So we bought this tripod that my phone is sitting on right now. It worked out pretty well, but we have this like clicker button and Anyways, so it ended up being fine, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so today's Friday. Tomorrow I'm going to officially announce by the time you're watching this video, of course you'll know. Yeah, and I sound a lot better than a few days ago when you last saw me full-blown COVID mode, but my like 14 and a half week ultrasound was yesterday and everything went well. I was very disappointed because my doctor didn't feel the need to take ultrasound pictures and I really wanted those, but he did take um, just like a Doppler of my belly and baby's heart rate is very strong and he listened for quite a while. So that was reassuring. He said that I'm progressing along as I should, although I think I am starting to show a little bit. I think I have a little bit of a bump. Josh says I do. I just think, it, at this point, I think it's bloat because like I am, uh, my diet's all over the place. I'm still nauseous and whatever sounds good I eat, which is basically like pancakes and waffles diet. Like all carbs are on the table. All vegetables are off the table. Uh, vegetables I can't stand. I maybe can stand like some peas and carrots, like very easy vegetables to eat. But other than that, I've been kind of living off fruit from my fiber. And so yeah, I'll do like a separate video, I think on my first trimester diet because let me tell you, it's been I, very interesting. I asked her what she wanted for dinner last night and she said ice cream. I did say ice cream. And the other day when we went to a Mexican food restaurant, she ordered 
a burrito and horchata. I know, I, I never order a burrito in the past because the tortilla is like so many carbs and I don't feel that great on a high carb diet. But now, right now I feel great on a high carb diet and I just need more protein in my life and more fiber. But you guys, like most foods don't sound good. Like all the sugary foods sound good, candy sounds good, chocolate is eh, so it's kind of weird. I'm Coffee still doesn't appeal to me. Yeah, so I'll do a whole separate video on what my diet's been like since getting pregnant, because it has been quite interesting, let me tell you. And yeah, I'll just do like a full video, a catch up video on like how I've been feeling and just, I don't know, any questions you guys have. Yeah, thank you for watching. Thank you for coming on this journey with me. For those of you watching this video, this pregnancy announcement video, and you are in a similar situation, but you're not pregnant yet, hang in there, keep trying. It's really difficult journey. I just, still can't believe that I'm pregnant. I am probably gonna do like a whole separate thing on why I don't know the gender yet. I don't wanna know yet, I'm, my heart's not ready. But also like I'll do a separate video too on like the mental health aspect of getting pregnant from IVF. And you know, I've been on this infertility journey for over 10 years and and so it's a long time and then IVF has been a year and I, it's, I'm still mentally going through a lot. And so announcing my pregnancy is actually very difficult and I'm nervous and I know you guys have my back and you're super supportive and super loving. I so appreciate everything that you guys have said to me, all your encouragement, all your love. It just makes a huge difference. And I keep, I wanna keep sharing. I wanna keep sharing my journey. Yeah, so for those of you still on the road to try to get pregnant, stay on this road, you got this. It. I've been there so many times when you see people announce pregnancy and you're like, well, there's no hope for me. Like here's another person pregnant again, another person pregnant, oh, all my friends have kids and I'm just hopeless over here. So I, I, I've been there so many times, that's why I can't believe that I'm announcing my pregnancy. It's just, I don't know, I still can't fathom that I can't wrap my mind around it yet. I don't know that I will fully believe it until I'm actually holding the baby, but yeah. So I will keep you guys updated as to now my pregnancy journey and what happens and how I'm feeling and the next steps from here. So thank you so much for watching. Like this video if you liked it and you wanna say anything, Josh? He's been through this with me the whole time, obviously. Yay! Okay, I'll see you guys in the next video and remember to always remember to be kind to yourself.